So is it just me, or is this show more of a slog and more of a chore to get through every week now? Yes. The answer wow. is yes. Uh, Jonathan Gresham was described, these were the words actually of several people, a total pain in the ass. He was very upset with the finish, he was very upset with the match, he was very upset with Tony Khan, and he essentially, uh, he quit. Rebel came out with the sandbag again. This is yeah. the dumbest dumbest thing stop it, this who's the guy that ran the the rap battle who was the host little scrappy, little scrappy. they identified little strappy okay scrappy 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 i'm sorry like, like scrappy do yeah okay so okay all right little scrappy not little strappy no that's a different different spice. okay i think it was tyson's entourage where like some blokes came out and it was like they weren't so never necessarily supposed to be there yeah and then like one guy that was just remember that one w totally weird guy I, it was I, just like you remember this? Vinny, what did you think of this FTR Briscoe's best of three falls match? I thought it was good. Good? It was very good. That is, uh, it was awesome. It was fucking fantastic. Okay. I would say... It <laughs> like, it's only good? If Vince McMahon is truly gone. From WWE, what one thing would be the bellwether that shows you things are going to be different? The commentary is already better. We had uh, wrestlers talking about Ring of Honor. They mentioned the IWGP tag team titles. Fucking Michael Cole called them the fans. Wow. They called them the universe. He said WWE fans. Eight. Eight. Ten. Ten. Eleven. Eleven. Six. Six. Nine. Bingo. Tim Page wants to know, have any of you called the corporate office after a bad experience in a store? And then he says, no. he confesses this, I once told on supermarket employees who were eating all the free samples while on the clock, Tim Page, you dick. <laughs> yeah, what, a, what a horrible person. Let him eat the damn Golly. snacks, dude. You ever worked at a grocery store? It sucks. I'm going to shut these windows. I'm a little too cold. <laughs> oh, <you laughs> Open it up for me. Okay. Okay. So we have... Can I, I guess I better wait till he gets back. No, no, no. Actually, you know, we should. Yes, let's wait till he gets back. Okay, you know how... My God, these shows fall apart when I leave for two seconds. <laughs> Holy disagree. smokes, you two. Golly. I disagree. Okay, Rollins versus Seba. Who? Seba. I looked it up. It's That's what his name was. Zeba? Yeah, Z-E-B-A. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Rock and rock. Rock and rock. What, are, are you, uh, what, what's going on, Grant? You making this up? Rock faced the rock? Yeah. I watched no, the whole. The rock okay. didn't face the rock. Rock versus rock, Lesnar, Brian. Oh, Brock versus rock. Okay. Oh, shoot. Well, the rock Lesnar would be a pretty great name. <laughs> yeah, rock Lesnar. Oh, That's I actually like better that. than Brock Lesnar. I like that. <laughs> One of the problems with this countout, besides the fact that it sucked, is Luger celebrated like he won the title. Oh, yeah. Even though everybody knew he hadn't won the title. And so he came off looking like a fucking geek. You know, I had uh, somebody who just happened to be uh, there in WWE. And they were, they were uh, aghast that I had uh, stated that this was a great show. And I was actually aghast that they were aghast. John Moxley versus Rush in the opener. As uh, William Regal himself said, I'm happier than a dog with two willies. This is a bigger payoff to me than like uh, Naito winning at Wrestle Kingdom or something. They're finally introducing trios titles. This was exceptionally well done. A great first title win for Hook. A great babyface turn for Ricky Starks. A great heel turn for Hobbs, even though he kind of was already a heel. The crowd was pretty dead, actually, when he's first being interviewed, and they're, they're quiet and everything, and man, he screams, you're the biggest pussy I ever met in my life, and they fucking exploded. This crowd exploded. And they cut to a fan who is doing the shocked face, and Chris Jericho on commentary screams, Look at that guy! What a mark! I did howl when he called this guy a mark. Crooked? Yes. But Daniel Garcia got a win over Brian Danielson. Man, if I didn't think it before this match, this was one of the best dynamites probably oh. that they've ever had. It, it, Top to yes. bottom, Fallon Henley. Okay. She's the one that comes out with a virgin, right? Uh, Hayden Fallon, yes. Because she's... 
Oh, Hayden Fallick. No, Hayden who? No, Hayden Fallick is one of Granny's gang members, you idiot. Fallon Henley, you you moron. Kiana James, mm. who is my new, absolute, <laughs> positive, without question, favorite in all of NXT. And uh, Wade Barrett plugged this match, promoted this match by promising, and I quote, X-rated barbarity. Excuse me? I hope he's wrong. Fody Hayward said, oh, he's nothing but a big jerk. And that's all That's all he says. He's nothing but a big jerk. And this makes Andre so angry. That son of a... <laughs> Axiom video. They took the highlights from his match and all the stuff about equations and problems to be solved and made it look like a comic book. That was a cool idea. I enjoyed that. I love the idea <laughs> that Alundra Blaze just sits around and monitors all pro wrestling to find when people throw belts in trash cans so that she can immediately book a flight and make sure she's out there the following yes. week. Yeah, that was a very fun main event to cap off a much better episode of NXT than usual. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21. Bingo! 